Let's go over here to the streets of Oklahoma City here where we have the Thunder getting nine points at the house versus the Boston Celtics in this one. Obviously, Celtics coming off that loss versus the Nuggets um, over and under sitting at 233 in this one, Alex. Um, what do you think? You think we see plenty of points here? The Thunder don't really have guys down low to stop the Celtics from getting inside the paint in this one. I think we will see some pace. I think we will see some points. But this spread is too big for me. I, I know that it's tough betting on some of these stinky teams at home. But give me the Thunder, plus nine points. I think this is a great spot for them. You look at Boston, they're mired in a little bit of a road trip here. They've got a little bit of a look-ahead spot. They play Dallas on Thursday. That'll be a TNT game here tonight. Oklahoma City, you know, kind of similar to Houston, two of these Western Conference teams that we think of as tanking teams but have really been trying to play good basketball. Um, you know, they don't have the number two pick with them, Chet Holmgren, but we know how good Shea Gildress Alexander is. We know how good Lou Dort can be. Josh Giddy seems to really be doing well. Both Jalen Williams, as annoying as that is to have on one team, have been playing pretty well together. So uh, give me the Thunder tonight at home, you know, on the road. They lose by a lot. They, they basically get run over by some of these better teams. But at home, they've been competitive. They've been able to even win some of these games so far this year. And another thing, Boston, it seems like there's been an upgrade for Boston here since Robert Williams came back, which makes sense to me in kind of a holistic sense, but not now. We haven't seen this team really play great basketball the last couple of weeks. For whatever reason, integrating him has really kind of thrown off their offensive rhythm. So uh, the market, I'm surprised, it seems like it's moving the other way. Again, I have this closer to 6-7. Happy to take OKC plus 9 here. Yeah, and the, the Thunder have covered four straight versus the Celtics as well, 4-0 against the spread and 6-1 and against the spread last seven games um, versus the Celtics and only lost by four um, earlier this year, November uh, – last year but you know what i mean this season mm -hmm. november 14th uh chris they only lost by four points up there in boston you could argue that's when the celtics were playing with their heads on fire as well um do you agree with alex and the okc home dog here plus the nine i do i do it's kind of gross but, but the thunder uh i think they're you know they're kind of like a lot of the other teams in the in the M M nba right now who could be kind of feisty you know alex and i bet on the rockets yesterday they were feisty in that game all game until the end uh, but you know this Thunder team, they have a winning record at home. They're 10-9. and nine. You know, They got some up-and-coming players like the young Jalen Williams. Uh, but, you know, they don't really do that much well on offense. Really where they're winning and limiting teams is just how well their defense has been playing. And to Alex's point, if they're going to keep on trying to integrate and feed Robert, Robert Williams III a little too much, that could create problems for Boston in their offense because this Thunder team – is good in the paint on defense. They're really good at limiting the mid-range. They're really good at limiting points at the rim. Uh, and I think just teams don't expect that, right? And then you face the Thunder, and they're just really feisty down low. The area that could really hurt OKC in this one is that obviously Boston loves to shoot the three ball, and they have struggled defending that. Now, Boston has cooled down. I mean, they were shooting at an insane rate throughout most of November. They're not quite at that rate now. They're eighth in uh, three-point shooting percentage. At this point, you know, we saw them right at the top there for a very long time. But if they can get their three ball going, hit some shots from beyond the arc, this game could get away from OKC. That being said, uh, I mean, it's a good spot. They're at home and they got the players. As long as you got SGA in the lineup and, you know, Giddy's great at giving out assists. Uh, this is a team that can hang with most other programs. It just, it just depends how much Boston is present tonight. To Alex's point, they do have that game against Dallas on Thursday. Exactly. I definitely have a game up on Dallas. My only thing, only reason why I'm not betting against the Celtics tonight, they were pretty pissed coming off that Nuggets loss. And that one, I'm not yeah. laying the nine with them, but I'm staying off this game. Uh, I knew the last game, the reason why the the, um, the Thunder were keeping it close versus Celtics, they still, in theory, had two centers in that game. That's Pokashevsky and uh, Robinson Earl. Both of those guys, and guys are out. And I maybe feel like maybe that's why the Thunder have been getting blown out here um, lately. Um, even lost that game versus the Hornets as well. You can't really, they, they play really a good perimeter defense but when it gets in if you get to the paint um there's no one really there to stop you there so i like the thunder perimeter defense but inside they don't have their seven footers right now i believe the center they'll be running out running out there uh, is six eight so the tallest player the thunder have on the, on the squad right now is six eight um i don't I, that's tough right there for the thunder my guy so a uh, tough game but i couldn't talk you guys off thunder uh, the home dog here getting nine points my guy uh alex which one you got no one you guys got the fish yes yeah, alex <laughs> rocking with the thunder it's hey, Sound like Chris was going with it as well, man. But uh, my guy Alex rocking, he's rocking with the Thunder plus the nine home dog. Could not talk you off there.